here. So I'm gonna do, <laughs> I'm gonna do this one um, about nails. So cutting and <laughs> cutting and grinding the nails. Um, I'm not gonna worry about having my face in here because we're just gonna have his paws. He's gonna be the star of the show. So first, I'm gonna go over a few different types of nail trimmers that you might need for your dog. So first one, we have itty, itty bitty ones. These are good for puppies, cats, or dogs just with really, really small nails. I only use these for my cat or for cats that I do. The next one is gonna be these. These are about a medium size compared to these. Um, I like these better. These are uh, Epica brand. I got them off of Amazon and I feel like they just do a lot better and are a lot sharper than these. These I got from Petsmart when I worked there. What I'm gonna use are just the regular ones that I like and I can link this as well in the video if you guys wanna purchase these. He gets his nails done about every week, every two weeks, whatever he, um, whenever they're ready to get cut again. So what I'm gonna show you first is the nail trimming and then I will show you the grinding because the grinding is what's really gonna get your dog's nails as short. So kind of the same thing like whenever we were doing the paw pads, um, you're gonna want to stay in their range of motion. So, sorry, let me just, there we go, much better. Okay, so you're gonna just pull the paw up like when we were doing their paw pads and you're gonna take one toe and take your clippers. The guard, if your nail trimmers have a guard on them that says here, the guard's gonna be on the outside. So you're gonna take, take the toe and you're literally just taking off a little bit at a time. If you take off too much, you have more of a chance of cutting your dog. So, literally just a little bit just a little bit. So what, let's see if you can see it. Okay, you can kind of see it. There will be a tiny black dot that's going to appear whenever you're trimming black nails. That is the quick. You do not want to go any farther than that. So you can see like I'm taking off minimal, minimal, minimal. We want to get his nails short, but I don't clip mine as short as I can when I do him and when I do some of my other clients who get the nail grinding because the nail grinding is gonna take them even shorter. So this nail that I just did is a white or clear nail. And whenever you do those nails, the quick is gonna appear as kind of like an off-white kind of pink dot. You can see it, see it on there. So that's where I'm gonna stop. And then another black nail. Just taking a little bit off at a time. And there's that quick again. You can see it. I know it's really hard to see. Okay. So I'm gonna do one more back foot. So same principle as with the paw pads. Pick up the foot. Don't go past their range of motion. It's pretty much the same thing. Little bits at a time. And um, what I was gonna say is that whenever you're doing it, you don't wanna do it too slow. You just wanna go real fast. It's okay, baby. He is not a fan of his nails being done yet. I mean, I've only had him for a little over a month, so we're still learning. Um, but one thing that can help the dog stay calmer is to just apply pressure to their paw. I find that that helps with some of these clients' dogs. And then, ooh, he says, I don't like that, mom. I'm gonna do his little dew claw. Again, just a little, little tiny bit. Woohoo! Dodger says, no, mom, no thank you. There we go. That's pretty much it for basic nail trimming. Um, when it comes to nail filing, that can be a little bit different, and I will go over that next. Now, we have our nail grinder. So this is a Dremel. It's not the one that's specifically made for dogs, but it works the exact same way. 
You can buy one that is made, <laughs> you can buy one that is made just for dogs on Amazon, but it's really, it's, you're just paying for a paw print on here. So I will link a uh, basic Dremel if you guys are interested. You can also use an emery board like you would use just to file down your own name. But with my Dremel, it can be pretty loud. So the other Dremels aren't gonna really have um, these many levels. So the Dremel that I'll link has an on. What you're gonna do? You're gonna put your arm underneath their body to support them, and then you can grab their paw. And again, you're gonna isolate one toe. And with nail grinding, all you're doing is smoothing out the edges. Make them short, short bursts, because if you leave it in one spot, oh, watch your nose, baby. If you leave it in one spot for too long, it will get too hot. Um, because of friction and it can actually burn the dog. So we don't want to, since most of you guys don't know how to do this professionally and you don't do this on a regular basis, you can do it the same way, paw tucked this way, as you did with the clipping of the toenails and the paw. The one toe, get rid of the sharp edges. So I go on the, I go right side, left side, bring it together in the middle. And then I'll check the bottom because the bottom usually can be kind of rough down here. Down here. Um, you don't want it to be a negative experience for them. So baby talk if you need to, if you want to have treats. Um, sometimes some of you all know that your dogs don't like their nails being done or something like that. So we give them treats as we do it. I have somebody who... Uh, we feed her dog a bag of carrots as we're doing it. So <laughs> whatever works best for you um, and whatever works best for your dog. Tonight, I put this on Dodger's feet. This is called Musher's Secret. And it is um, kind of like chapstick, but for your dog's paws. So I'll show you how to apply it. Um, Cause when I first adopted him, he was out on the streets and his paws were really rough and it hurt more than his nails did. <laughs> All right, and I don't do this for y'all because I use the same container for him and you can see it's got like his hair in it. <laughs> uh, I just thought that I would show this to you guys because it's a really cool tool for me. Is after his paw pads um, get shaved or after I wipe them down at night, I'll take his paw and I'll literally just put it into the goop. So we just step into the goop and then you want to massage it and it's safe for them to lick, safe for them to do whatever they want to do with it. Um, a little goes a long way though, so just be mindful of that. And that's pretty much it. So, <laughs> yeah, is that good? So thanks again for watching. Thanks for Dodger being such a good sport. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.